It's a brand new day. Wow! That's a lot of people in the same place at the same time. I thought we weren't supposed to gather in large groups. Woohoo! Party like it's Windows 95! That's not a party, it's a civil rights protest. Uh oh. Hide your joy, kids. It's the fun police. What are civil rights? There are rights as citizens to live without discrimination or oppression. Yeah, but we already have all the rights we need in the Constitution, right? So why are all these people still protesting? Shh! Enough with the questions. You'll just encourage her. Curtain, please! In the United States, civil rights leader like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks fought for desegregation because everyone should have the same rights, regardless of skin color. At one point, kids as young as Nellie and Noah fought for the right to not have to work long hours in dangerous factories. And in the 19-teens, women fought to get the right to vote, led by suffragists like Susan B. Anthony and Marie Louise Baldwin. But progress isn't always a straight line. Back checker. Through the 1700s and 1800s, many states allowed men and women of any race to vote. But over time, those rights were taken away. Even to this day, the battle to ensure equal access to the ballot box continues. Democracy is not a spectator sport. Oh, excellent point, fact checker. And a great example of people refusing to stay on the sidelines in the fight for their rights is the Capitol Crawl. We're not asking any favor specifically demanding the same rights and the same equality that every other American citizen has. In 1990, there were no laws requiring buildings to have ramps for wheelchairs or braille for blind people to read, so ADAPT, a group of disability rights activists, went to Congress to demand that they pass the Americans with Disabilities Act. We are here to demand the passage of the ADA. We are here to demand that the House of Representatives vote now. Vote now! Vote now! Vote now! Vote now! Turns out, the building where our government makes laws for all people wasn't accessible by all people. So to demonstrate how serious their quest for rights was, activists got out of their wheelchairs and crawled up the steps. Let's crawl! Let's, let's get up! Let's crawl! Let's crawl! One of them was an eight-year-old girl named Jennifer Keelan. But even though it was hard, she and other activists persisted and eventually got Congress to pass. The Americans with Disability Act of 1990, or ADA. It required employers public and private entities to provide accommodation and accessibility for disabled employees and citizens in general. That's cool, but not as cool as the crazy true story of the Capitol Crocodiles. In sewers all over DC, these mega crocs. Not true. Curtain, please. Wow. So the reason there are ramps at every public building is because of the ADA? For sure. Today, the ADA matters more than ever because COVID-19 is leaving millions of Americans disabled. So fighting to help people in the past makes life better for us today, too. Protesting and demonstrating are important to alert the public to an injustice. Then, activists propose changes to the law. When a critical mass is reached, elected officials pass those laws. But it is still up to all of us to ensure that the government enforces them. Okay, you're right, Facty. That was a cool story. Now, can I play this killer techno jam I downloaded? Crank it, bro.